Attention! Listen up! The biggest mistake Yuk Tabania has made in their blitz attack is that it had failed to sink any of our aircraft carriers. We'll evacuate all intact carriers to our inland sea, then use them as a base to rebuild our counter strike force. You've been called to service and a very important operation, people. Keep that in mind out there. Today at 1500 hours, three carriers from the 3rd Ocean Naval Fleet will rendezvous at Eaglen Straits. These carriers are the Vulture, the Buzzard, and the Kestrel, which has successfully escaped from Port St. Hewlett, thanks to your help. Your mission is to coordinate with the Kestrel and provide top cover for all carriers during the rendezvous. Should you encounter enemy attack, defend the three carriers at all costs. The situation is fluid. So be sure to choose an aircraft with good defensive capability against both air and ground-based threats. Got it made in the shade now. This is Thunderhead. We've arrived outside the range of enemy air attack. Permission granted to return to your assigned bases in sequence. Aircraft may refuel for the return trip if required. Hold above the carrier for the taker aircraft. Everyone's starting to leave. Can we go yet? Wardog Squadron, I told you to wait for the tanker plane above the carrier. I swear, man.
Vulture and Buzzard were sunk by a powerful burst missile attack. According to hydrophone data analysis, we have determined that the attack was carried out by the Sinfaxi, the Yuktovanian underwater attack carrier. The specs of this ship are unknown, but its existence confirms that the advanced shipbuilding efforts of the Yuktovanians have been going on unabated since the previous war. The Sinfaxi is a serious threat to our objectives. Emergency transmission from Central. Our army has decided to deploy the military power of the Arkbird to neutralize the grave threat posed by this new enemy submarine.